Joplin, Missouri. Five days after a massive tornado leveled much of the city, they are still searching for the missing. And they're saying goodbye as well, as today we saw the first of what will be many funerals. The number of dead now stands at 132, and 157 people are still unaccounted for. Ben Tracy is in Joplin. Ben, good evening. Good evening, Harry. Much of Joplin tonight still looks like a war zone. Streets like this completely impassable. And then take a look at this. The second story of this home was sucked right into the street by the storm. But of course, the biggest toll here is still human. And many families who are still waiting for news of their loved ones are finding that wait unbearable. I just wanted to at least hand it out, you know. All the Hayward family can do now is wait. She was missing since the tornado. Yeah. For five days, Robert, Caleb, and their 14-year-old sister, Christina, have been looking for this woman. Her name is Deanne. She's their mom. What's it like not to have your mom at home? Um, kind of different. Really different, I would imagine. Yeah. What do you miss? Um, her laughing. Like, she always makes us laugh. Just before the twister tore through Joplin, Deanne went to town to pick up Sunday dinner at this pizza hut. They were going to have a graduation party for my brother, and so she went to go get pizza, and she never came home. How did you feel when she didn't come home? Kind of scared. We were thinking maybe she uh, had to stop and get out of her car, maybe go to a shelter or something like that. The kids have not found their mom, but they did find her car. This is it. The roof is gone. The headrest is missing. Her seatbelt is still buckled and there's a shoe on the dashboard. It's quite possible that she was literally sucked out of her car. All right, we're gonna find her. But the family has no idea if Deanne is still alive or one of the many unidentified dead. The authorities won't let people try to identify bodies in person. Instead, the Haywards had to submit DNA and dental records and wait. They've had long enough, this has been days. They need to let people start bringing their family home. Because you can't start to heal when you don't even know what you've lost. We're just gonna stay strong, you know? Um, what, else can we, what else can we do? <sighs> Tonight, the officials here are defending their process for identifying the dead. They say they have to be 100% accurate, and in some cases, the wait for DNA test results could take another two weeks. Mm. Harry. Ben Tracy in Joplin tonight, thanks.